Well, New York State has a new lawmaker running for president, but just over three months ago, that didn't seem likely. Certainly not. Back in October, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand swore she wouldn't run, but this morning, she made it official. From your local election headquarters tonight, our Rob Hackford has a look back. Kicking her campaign off in Troy, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand made it clear why she wants to run. I believe that health care should be a right and not a privilege. I believe we should have better public schools. I believe we need to start rewarding work in this country again. But the one and a third term senator seemed to have a different mindset in October when she was running against then opponent Shell Farley. So you'll not run for president. You will serve your six years. I will serve my six year term. Okay. Ms. Farley. Honestly, I don't believe that, considering the fact that this is the third day she's been in New York in the entire month of October. Political science professor Grant Reher. The most commonly used phrase in this regard is, you never say never. And I think most people assume that going in. Reher says what may seem like an about face by Gillibrand has been done before. I think it's a general assumption in the political world that there's always a maybe as, a, as an asterisk kind of hanging over any kind of pronouncement that a candidate is not thinking about a second office, second higher office. I'm going to run for president of the United States because as a young mom, I will fight for your children as hard as I would fight for my own. While her title won't be changing while running, Reher says a few things might. There is some evidence to suggest that when an office holder is thinking about running for another office while they're holding that office, they will begin to change their own sense of the constituency that they're representing. Which in the case of a presidential campaign could lead to tackling broader policy subjects outside of New York or changing how she votes on controversial legislation. We're willing to take on those systems of power that do not want Americans to have that opportunity. Now, Gillibrand was asked by reporters why she changed her mind so late. She said she felt a new sense of urgency and wanted to discuss the tough decision with her family first. Rod? Rob, thank you. Not a